everybody and welcome to my channel. This is Leslie. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I am bringing you another layout for the Justnik design team and I am going to be using the um, Bloom cut files and um, I used them as well for my uh, layout a couple of weeks ago and I thought I'd use the same cut files to show you how differently you can use cut files and how differently they can look. Um, even though it's the same cut file, you can use them in very different ways. I will leave a link down below um, in the description to that video that I um, that I made using the same cut files so that you can compare the two layouts and see just how easy it is to use one cut file but make it look completely different for uh, for two different layouts. So you don't need a million cut files. You just need some cut files that you truly like and that are versatile. And this is the thing of just Nick's, um, of Nicole's um, cut files. They are so versatile. You can resize them, you can cut them, and there's so many different ways of using cut files. You can back them. For instance, I backed some of these flowers for my previous layout. For this layout, I'm not going to back them. I'm just going to be using them as is with the white on white embellishing that I'm going to be using. Uh, for um, uh, In using cut files, you can also use them as the main embellishment cluster on your, um, on your, on your layout and that helps when you have a cut file that is very big, for example, big letters, a big title, or you have a big element like a mandala or a flower or something like that you can use to take up space in your layout. There are loads of ways of using cut files. Um, uh, you can layer them behind your photos, you can layer them behind um, uh, uh, embellishments, you can layer embellishments on top of them, you can layer them on top of embellishments and <laughs> the list goes on and on and on. So yeah, so the collection that I'm going to be using today is uh, Webster's Pages and it's called Lovers in the Air. Now this collection isn't what I would usually go for. Um, there's lots of different elements. It's sort of very, it's very eclectic, this collection. There's some very lifelike watercolor um, uh, uh, um, flowers. Then there's some more um, cartoony flowers. Then there's some cartoon aspects, some titles. There's a couple of smiley faces. And then it's a bit more romantic. So it's a very eclectic collection. So I'm, I'm sure that... Uh, they try to cover all their bases with this collection. But for today, I thought I would fussy cut that flower um, patterned paper that I had a bit ago. And I didn't show you how I fussy cut everything. Um, that's just, <laughs> it's like watching paint dry. So um, I did fussy cut some of that paper, not all of it, because um, I wanted to stretch my embellishments. Um, and that, that is one way of making more embellishments. For example, this collection doesn't have a lot of, um, really not a lot of embellishments, no die cuts. Um, you basically have little bits of stickers, some journaling spots, and that's it with loads of papers. So how to stretch your, um, your collection and, um, you know, make it work for you better. And how I made it work for myself is I made ephemera with the papers. I fussy cut out a lot of the papers and I made my own ephemera. For example, in this um, video, I cut up that patterned paper and fussy cut the flowers out. Now, um, you don't need any special scissors to do fussy cutting. Um, I do have a little bit of a, um, a, a talk about fussy cutting um, in my video from last week's Thrifty Thursday video. If you're interested in that, um, you can go over to my channel and just click my Thrifty Thursday from last week. And I was talking about the scissors I use and those are the little snips that I'm using at the moment with the little red handle. They are Tim Holtz fussy cutting scissors and they have a serrated, one of the, um, one of the blades is serrated. And that helps your scissor from slipping and making cuts where you don't want it to make a cut. 
so it's it just it's very easy for me to fussy cut with these scissors so it might you might have different experience with them i know you get these scissors in a larger size as well and um i don't have the larger size i would love to have the larger size i don't i just have these small ones but they really work wonders for me now if you don't have these scissors it's not the end of the world any sharp tip scissors would do if you do like to fussy cut now fussy cutting is my thing i really really love it i do it you know it's if i'm bored i sit and fussy cut so it's really not a, a labor for me it's really something that i love to do so um, that's why I invested in a good pair of fussy cutting scissors. But you don't have to have, you know, the fussy cutting scissors um, <laughs> if, if, you, if you catch my drift. What's nice about these scissors is the handle is very pliable, the two little handles. Um, and you can see how they bend around my thumb. So it's very easy to cut. Um, you don't get a sore on your thumb because with usually with scissors, I get a sore on my a middle finger and my thumb and I'm sort of like a sore spot and with these scissors I don't so what you saw me do what you saw me doing there is um, I gutted one of the cutter parts from the collection it's a, a four by six card and I'm going to be using the frame that I am um, cut there to back my photo and I love that little dot the black the very fine black dot it's it just adds something um to the back of my photo i don't do a lot of um layering behind my photo for this layout so that just gives the the photo a little bit of a something to rest on i think the inside of the the card the three of the four by six card i am going to um fussy cut around the word love that golden knee flower and the leaf as well that i'm going to use as my title for this page now you're not going to see me sticking it on <laughs> to the page i did lose some footage at the end of this video but never mind i do i will talk you through this still at the end of the video to sh to just talk you through what i did in the end but um yes as i said i'm going to use this as my title for my layout and um, the photo that I'm using is of me and my sister-in-law. Now, she came and visited us about two years ago. And um, it was a lovely time. She, she, she came and visited us en route to her brother in Denmark. So it was fun to see her for a couple of days. And we went to a place called Miracle Gardens here in Dubai. Now, I have scrapped a couple of photos from our Miracle Garden trips. And I do mention in a few videos that we do the Miracle Garden trip at least once a year. We haven't gone this year yet in 2019. And I should, before the weather turns, I should really get my kids there. Now, what happens in these gardens is everything is made of flowers. And you can see in the photo behind us there, the arches are made of flowers, the houses are made of flowers, the the walkways, everything is basically flowers. They even have a Boeing 747 that's completely made of flowers, full-sized Boeing, with the jet engines and everything made of flowers. And they've got a little city as well with houses and buildings and so on. So it is quite a lovely experience for the kids and it makes for beautiful photos because they nurture these gardens all year round to look absolutely magnificent so that is why i thought i could scrap that photo of us with all the flowers in the background with these beautiful florals from the webster's pages lovers in the air collection and um, I think it worked out really well. So I am going to be doing a little bit of splattering on the background as well on my white cardstock. I felt that it needed something, um, something more. And um, you can see that on the left hand side of the screen, there's very few um, embellishments for this collection. It's basically just a couple of the little cutter parts. Um, I've made my own ephemera by cutting the butterflies out of a patterned paper sheet, cutting flowers out of a patterned paper sheet, um, cutting cut apart, apart. <laughs> and um, uh, you know that's how you that that's how you make something work for you and this is one of the stickers that came with the collection and I'm just going to be cutting that geometric heart out um, to get rid of that blue background and I'm going to be using it as an element on my page because the colors in that heart just goes perfectly with the colors in the in the flowers now 
The other thing why I used this um, this heart element um, to the top left hand corner of my layout is of my photo excuse me is to balance out that flower at the bottom right hand of my photo it is quite um a heavy at that side of my photo and i needed something to balance at the top left so that is why i'm using that um, heart at the top left now this little uh, bubble speech bubble that says oh yeah that's also a sticker from the collection and i'm just going to be fussy cutting out the bubble and using that on the top left hand corner as well of my layout now i love the fact that it's a different color to the heart and the flower and it just brings in a little bit more of that green that's in the leaves in the um in the floral bits that i've got going there so how i'm going to be using my um my cut files for this layout is i am going to be layering them behind the behind the big floral um, fussy cut bit uh, um, there on the left hand side of my layout and sort of spread them out evenly across the layout towards the top right hand corner where the other fussy cut bit is so that they sort of um, it looks like they're staggering their way up the page and um, I really love the way this look the the um, the configuration of the flowers the way the flower was put was made um, goes very well with the flowers that i fussy cut so it almost looks like it was the cut file was made to go with this with this with these flowers and you can see just even just using white cardstock to cut out these flowers made such a beautiful um, patterned effect um, it gave such a beautiful effect to the layout and it, it adds texture and dimension and you just want to go ahead and touch it. I think that is the big thing. Um, so, so this is basically it for this layout. I do do some splatters with a black um, Heidi Swap color shine uh, right at the end and that's also something you won't see. It's footage that I lost unfortunately but I do do the um, splatters. I also add teeny tiny little heart stickers. They're little epoxy heart stickers, some pink ones, some green hearts. And then um, I'm also going to be, yeah, as I said, splattering some black Heidi Swap color shine. What I also end up putting on the layout is a paper clip. Now I place this on the left hand side of my layout above the um above that little cut file uh, flower um on the far left hand side of the layout and the paper clip is shaped in the word love and um that sort of brought in a metallic element to the layout it brought in a different um uh, something extra some interest to the layout and it like i said it brought in something metallic um you can either i could have used heidi swap gold color shine or any gold um, splatters that i have in my in my stash to bring in an element and the th the reason why i chose gold is because the flowers and the green and the flowers especially that flower in the word love is 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 warm it's got a warm feel to it I didn't want to bring in any silver because silver has got quite a cold feel to it. So I brought in some gold and that is why I chose the paper clip um, with the word love. And it's also, you know, the paper clips in the word love and the title is the word love. So it just, I just felt that it would go really well in that way. So yes, um, I would just like to thank all of my subscribers i've been getting loads of new subscribers in and it's such a blessing to see how my channel have has grown over the last year um i've been on youtube for just over a year now for a year and a week and it is i i could have never have imagined that my channel would have grown as much as it had in this last year and i just want to thank all of you so much for all your support for the fact that you watch all my YouTube videos, for those who watch every single one, I, it, it is such, it is very, very encouraging to know that um, 
I do inspire and my layouts do encourage you to go get your stash and to go scrap your photos and to make your albums and uh, mini albums and, and the other things that I do make. And it's so encouraging to me to know that somebody out there is watching <laughs> and that uh, I'm not just doing this for, you know, for myself. Somebody else is watching this. And sometimes I do get very nice um, comments on my layouts um, of, you know, the fact that this it is inspirational and, and so on. So I just want to thank you guys so much for your support and for your encouragement. I've never had a negative comment and touch wood. <laughs> so anyway, so this is it for this layout. There, That is where I stuck down the title. I added some Heidi Swap Black Color Shine, stuck down more of the, the um, cut file. And there is the little paper clip that I told you about, the little hearts that I stuck down. And that is it for this layout. I hope to see you again soon. Bye.